Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 138. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. That doesn't make sense. That is dumb as fuck. I, I think the rule is you are allowed to do it, but I think some police officers are a little bit uneducated on it. They're sort of like told, no phones and then... I really don't think it is like that. Technically, if you're on your driveway, it's private property, so road laws don't apply. Um, anything that's on private property, you, you don't have to abide by road laws as long as it's private property that you own. Um, so when you are on your driveway... Um, it is fine. It's when the engine is on. As soon as the engine is on, you're in control of a vehicle. Um, because the vehicle is on. It's ready to go. So by that point, it's, it is illegal. I understand why, because... I, I do and I don't understand why at the same time. But, um... Yeah, when it comes to... Um, what's it called? What was I going to say? Oh, um, you know when a car park or something like that puts like five mile an hour speed limits? There's a great example if you've ever been to uh, Swindon before. Basically, this is for the Swindoners that's in the chat. <laughs> uh, Swindon Link Centre there is a road that goes around the back to a back car park. Um, there's obviously like the front car park, the main one. You've then got the two Asda car parks. But there's also a back car park for the Link Centre. There's actually a five mile an hour road sign there. Like five mile an hour speed limit. Those are not actually legally binding. Because the minimum speed limit that there actually can be on a road is 10 miles an hour. So, they're normally put there by car park owners to try and, like, get people to go slower. But you, you won't get in trouble if you go above that. Because the minimum is, like, 10 miles an hour that you can put on a roadside. It's either 10 or 20, I'm not sure. But what I do know... How?! Okay, that was closer than I thought. But what I do know is those five mile an hour road signs are not legally binding. I think I have. And the traffic coming out of that place is unreal. Because the road is just so poorly designed. It's just constant traffic jams. <laughs> dyslexic. I, I find it funny that the word dyslexic is like one of the stupidest words to ever spell in the English language. It's so funny. I forgot to do a giveaway for this one, so f uh, between uh, this race and the next one, I'll do two. See, I'm, I wouldn't go to car meets because I know how much the police like clamping down on them. And not that I'm like, oh, I'm a goody two shoes, but I really just can't be asked to deal with that. Like, it, it's not something I can be fucked with.
at the same time. You know. I know. I know I need to remember, alright? Fuck off. I did remember. Just remembered it a little bit late and I'm going to do it. Suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. You still got the BMW? What happened with the Beamer? That Beamer was sick, I'll be honest. What, Zeno? How would you smash it? Jesus. Your insurance for that Seat must be unreal if you've smashed that Beamer. <laughs> oh god. I don't want to know. You just didn't tell him. Holy crap. That is crazy. Point two k at start went down to eight hundred pound. Now, I mean to be fair, one point two k is not bad for a first year of insurance at the moment. Anyways, I've been looking for I. I saw a car that I really wanted, but I got told not to buy it because you should keep looking. It was one of the first cars I saw, Alfa Romeo Me Too. It was in good condition, had been repaired. It was classed as an insurance write-off. But the owner decided to repair it, get it repaired. It was in a good condition. I know, but I love the look of Alfa Romeos. I don't know why. I just, I just, oh, I just thought it would be cool. Really wanted it. The insurance was fairly cheap on it as well compared to, like, it was similar to other stuff for what is quite a nice looking Alfa Romeo. I got told I couldn't have it. I'm very pissed off. Even though it's my car money. My money for my car. Got told I wasn't allowed it. <laughs> 350Z or an E36. 325. You're probably better getting the E36. Just because... It, uh, I mean... I think the 350Z is a little bit overrated. Um, a lot of people are like... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, whatever I get, I'm a dime, probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm looking to get a car, but I just don't know what it's going to be. Um, yeah, I suppose you're right. But then again, anything can be making a, a, anything can be made into a drift car. Let me think about it. I've got a grand to spend on a car, though. But. Oh yeah, hippo monstrosophobia is the fear of long words. It's fucking ridiculous. This is what I mean. The front of this car is too twitchy. That's one of the things I don't like about the handling model of uh, Motorsport 3 compared to 4. This just feels too twitchy. It's twitchy. Fucking alarms. <laughs> Reminded me to feed the dog. I mean, I would get a Fiesta, but I just I can't be asked.
Okay, I, th I think the problem is when I'm looking at... Ch for some reason, right, I used to be fucking killer at being able to look at my stream preview. To be able to still drive while I was reading chat. I can't do that anymore. For some reason, my capture card has so much latency, it's unreal. I need a new capture card that's got less latency. So that I can do it again. Get out the way! A GTA smart car. Yes, please. I'll be totally honest, I, I do want a shitbox car, but I want one that I can at least somewhat take care of, you know? Like one that is going to last and it's not just, I'm not getting a fucking micro, fuck off. <laughs> Anyone mentions the Nissan micro in my chat once more, they lose all respect. <laughs> YouTube audience be like, stop fucking rewinding. <laughs> I don't really have a choice, to be fair. This car is twitchy. I hate it. These higher speed events are fucking terrible. And especially with this preview. This preview's like... 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds behind. Which is a lot more than it used to be. It used to be instant. But for some reason, it's just really slow. Honestly, I think this new OBS update is just fucking broken OBS. Compared to what it used to be. <laughs> Get good. There's a reason why racing games on streaming services don't exist. Uh, I'll check it in a minute. Because I got a lot of shit to do between this race and the next one. Mark 6 Golf would be quite cool. But. I mean, to be fair, Skoda Fabia, Golf, Audi, whatever, they're all the same car. Especially now. No. Fuck off with your Rocket League bullshit. I'm not a fan of Rocket League for the sole reason that it's been bought up by Epic Games. Like, Epic Games, I, I love the fact that they stood up to Apple and Google for their incredibly high tax, which is ridiculous how much they're charging. Like, all they're doing is hosting a server that you can download games from, and they're charging a very high price for it. But at the same time, I will agree with you, I think it's a bit of publicity stunt because their actual video games are ruined. Like, let's be honest. When have you bought a game in the past four years that hasn't been ruined because how? There's no grip. There's no fucking brakes. Fucking dumbass car. Not a fan of this one. Not a fan of this one at all. Um, like, ever since Fortnite, the video game industry has gone downhill. It is directly in correlation with Fortnite. And a lot of the stuff that they put... Do you know, Satisfactory is fucking epic. Honestly, I, I played so much of it. Um... Both on Epic Games and on Steam. It was such an awesome game. Still is. But I haven't played it since Update 4. Update 6 has come out. And Update 7 is in early access. So. I don't know. I started playing Factorio. Um... 
I didn't get along with it. I couldn't get it. Get the hang of it. I couldn't get the hang of um, Factorio at all. So I prefer Satisfactory over Factorial, but I also understand why people say it's like Factorio, but worse at the same time. So, but I, I do understand why. Fuck DMCA. Though, though, a lot of people in the YouTube and the, the Twitch, a lot of content creators don't understand what DMCA is because a couple of TikTokers, and this, this is another reason why I hate TikTok as well, a couple of TikTokers sent misinformation and spread it around like Twitch talk as it was called. Twitch TikTok, basically. Um, they basically went around saying that if you play copyrighted music, you'll get DMCA'd. And if you get DMCA'd three times, you'll get banned from Twitch. But missing out pretty much all of the information of how DMCA's and copyrights work. Um, and it's really funny because all these TikTok Twitch streamers that are like supposed to be oh yeah we're helping you we're gonna uh help you become a better streamer all they're doing is destroying twitch streamers and it's so funny but yeah and, and now because like those all went viral those tiktoks and the messages on twitter and all that ev pretty much 90 percent i really hope it gets banned I hope it gets banned. I hope it gets banned. So bad. Because it, it it's a really in like in terms of productivity, it just it zaps all productivity out of people. It's unreal. But yeah, so many To be fair, everything you install as spyware in some way, shape or form. Some are worse than others. But when you think about it, it, it's still pretty bad. I mean, you use Twitch. America knows pretty much. America could be spying on majority of the UK. Working for any government agency, you're not allowed to have it installed. Yeah. But still, like, in terms of spyware, a lot of things spy on you. Like, to the point that the only true way of having privacy in the modern era is to just not be on the internet. Uh, no. I haven't, to be fair. But it's probably something to do with the point that I made. <laughs> yeah. I really wish I could carry on with cybersecurity, but uh, this teacher that they brought into UTC was an absolute twat. So I just ended up pretty much fucking up <laughs> and fucking off. It was actually a decent course for the first year. The teacher that we had for the first year was good. We got a sizable amount learned and then he left and they swapped him with an asshole that had some perfectionist agenda that I, I don't even remember it was that long ago um, I think it was like three years ago since I've been to college so it's been some time but I mean I've forgotten the majority of my python stuff I'm doing a python course again for beginners just because I want to do some programming shit. Like, I've forgotten a majority of Python because I just didn't program for, like, a year and a half, two years. And all of my old programs disappeared. Like, they got wiped on my old USB that just stopped working. I completely forgot about them. Thought, oh, yeah, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I've been picking it up fairly quick. Like, I've been watching through it, and I'm like, I know that. Like, my brain couldn't program a month ago 
Because I'd sit there and be like, what the fuck do I do? Because I'd forgotten it all. <laughs> Print, your mum gay. <laughs> Imagine if that becomes the new Hello World. Instead of Hello World, we just print your mum gay. <laughs> but, um... No, I, as soon as I was seeing, like, how certain stuff works, I'm like, I know that. How come I didn't know it before? <laughs> it's just crazy. That's fair enough. Yeah, I basically just dropped out of college. Um, it, it wasn't the ideal environment. Especially once it got into sick form. Um, the, the problem was that they swapped out a lot of teachers for, like, teachers who just didn't like teaching. Like... We ended up with... I don't know. Do you remember Eric? I, I, I don't know if Eric was there when you were there. Was he? Oh. Have you heard anything about Eric? Basically, he was a American that had come over here and was doing teaching. But he thought that he was like... He was just a dick. So he would send people out. Um, he'd say dickish things constantly. Oh, I'm, I'm not even joking, right? The year below us were fairly well behaved. But just Eric's class was bad. I can imagine our year. If we were in there and we had Eric as a teacher, fucking hell, half of the class would be gone every lesson, guaranteed. He got fired, though, because it uh, basically he was being a dick. Yeah, he would have got violated. I'm not even joking, though. In comparison to... Uh, what's it called? Fucking hell. The IT teacher that I ended up with when we were doing cybersecurity. Um, the one that they replaced him with, he was a dick. So much of a dick, I would have preferred Will. <laughs> yeah, I would have preferred him any day of the week, honestly. Will was actually a really good teacher in comparison. Like, uh, I don't think... Um, I don't even remember what his name was. Teacher that replaced him. Not Will, uh, Ben. Oh, I can't remember. Really can't remember. It's gonna bug me. Honestly, those guys were fucking crackheads. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it. They were fucking mental. But then we all were, really, weren't we? <laughs> fucking nutters. Best teacher ever is some Indian tutorial videos. I and mean, to be fair, those Indian tutorial videos would have probably been a million times better than the teachers that, like... I don't know whether I just had enough of education... Like, I'll, I'll be totally honest. The UK's education system, people are like, oh, look, free education. That's awesome. Our education system is one of the worst in the world. It is so bad. Like, people will be like, but you get free education. And it's like, yeah, it's free. That's the problem. Clearly. Like, it's unreal. I'm still pissed off that I wasn't allowed to resit my exams. Still pissed off. I ranted about this like two weeks ago.
<laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Honestly, science is like sciences shouldn't be forced because not everything is gonna be maybe biology. Biology you should do, but like a basic version of biology, like learning about the body and shit, because that's kind of important. But like chemistry, physics, no point. Like basic biology should be taught. That should be mandatory, but that should come under, like, something else, like, life studies or something. I don't know. Like, where you learn about the human body. Because that is very important. Um. I don't know. I can't remember. I mean, Becky is going to run a nail salon. Doesn't need to understand the pH imbalance of a fucking lemon. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Poor Becky. I can't wait to be done with this, and then I, I, I can drive normal cars again. Mm. I don't think it should just be human anatomy, though. I think it should be, like, um, learning about diseases, learning about cancers and stuff like that. So, in terms of biology, it should be, like, at least half of it. But there are some things, like, animal biology and fucking in-depth cell analysis and stuff like that. That stuff should be more advanced stuff. Yeah. But, like, when it comes to, like, anatomy, learning about illnesses, um, because you want to know about some illnesses, how to identify, like, symptoms of illnesses and stuff like that. Um. Yeah. Like, I know that plants basically feed off of a thing called photosynthesis. What kind of... What fucking planet will I ever need that for? I know the reason that plants are greener because of a thing called chlorophyll. I think that's it. This is fucking stupid. It's the powerhouse of the fuck cell. <laughs> It's just so stupid. Like, I... I will... I will be honest. I think school from the ages of, like, 4 to 11, primary school, I think that should stay as it is because actually stuff in primary school, you forget about most of that anyways when you get into secondary anyways. And most of your primary school time is just spent messing about, socialising... Like, a large majority of it is. Um, but I think once you get into secondary, there shouldn't be anything mandatory other than maths, English, and basic science. Everything else should be a choice. No matter what. The fact that you were forced to do stuff like religious studies really doesn't sit well with me. Because I, I'm not a religious person. I believe that everyone who has their religious beliefs should believe in whatever they want. They have my utmost respect. But why do I have to sit through and learn about religions when I don't want to be part of that? You know, it's just not right. I, I'm a firm believer of that. Like, by all means, if you believe in, believe in whatever you want to believe, that's perfectly fine. I understand that, and I respect that, and everyone else should respect that. But just because I don't believe in it doesn't mean I'm an arsehole. I don't want to believe in it. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I picked the wrong track. I've done it in the wrong order. Ah! Oh, well. All right, here we go. The only thing I believe in is that I have a 92-inch penis. That's fucking brilliant. All you have to do is believe. Who 
<laughs> if your significant other ever says that your penis is tiny, just say no. All you have to do is believe I've got a huge cock. <laughs> oh, that's fucking brilliant. It's spiritual growth. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Just letting fate take its course. Madness. Mm. I have centimeters. Inches are not my cup of tea. I mean, technically, tea is in milliliters, so. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. I mean, when it comes to, like, gender... That, <laughs> fucking hell. I s was listening to a TikTok the other day. I wasn't watching it. It was someone else in the house was watching it. Um, and they said... I, I am tri-gendered. And I was like, already, like... Having more than one gender is already a problem. But they said that they identify both as male, they identify as female, and they identify as non-binary, which means that they don't identify as male or female. So what you've basically done is made people sit around for five minutes, listening to you ramble on like an uneducated pleb, to then tell them that you are only singly gendered and that is non-binary. You are a pleb. <laughs> Bro's clearly just greedy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I'm gonna fill in the blank for you there, Zeno. <laughs> it's nearly 2023. I identify as a vaginal depth of 6.2 inches. And if you don't agree, you're a Tory cunt and you should burn in hell. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. That's awesome. But yeah, when it comes to like... It's a... I'm going to make a very obvious point, and you can't disagree with it because it just makes sense. But the one thing I find really strange about the whole of this, like, gender identity, and I, I don't care if it's, like, controversial, if you think that this is any form of hate, you just don't understand what the word hate is, and you are clearly a snowflake. So... We'll, we'll draw a simple diagram. If I hate this, I am a snowflake. Just remember that while I say this. <laughs> this should be fairly simple. The thing I don't understand, right, is when someone is... has, like, is gender fluid and has multiple different um, genders... I obviously am fully supportive of people if they feel like they're in the wrong body and they feel like something else, that's fine. But the thing I don't understand is when people feel like they're going from day to day, they feel like different people. For some reason, when it comes to gender, right, this is classed as the norm. We should accept it, right? So someone can say, I'm gender fluid. On one day, I am male, but the other day, I'm female however if somebody and the only reason i make this association is because i know someone who has this disability if someone has a um identity disorder where one day they feel like one person but the other day they feel like a different one it's the same thing just the genders are the same for both identities however their class is mentally ill but for someone who has who's gender fluid, is classed as perfectly normal. And I don't... It, it is, but it isn't. That's the thing. People are just able to say, yes, I identify as two genders, 
and I feel like two genders, and that's perfectly normal. But someone who feels like two different people is mentally ill. Like, in all realism... Um, oh, I've just seen your message tag. Doggo's doing good. Doggo's doing good. In, in all realism, I, I think that as well sometimes. Um, that, there are obviously some people who don't, but some people are doing it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Says it in the top top right corner. Any song that I'm playing to will be put in the top right corner. It's my stream playlist. So any song that I find that is a vibe goes straight into this playlist. Um, but yeah, but it just seems strange. Like, it seems like the world has this double standard of what's classed as disability and what isn't. P is stored in the balls, in the balls. <laughs> Shut up. Um, yeah, because when it comes to, like, I have two mental disabilities, but the world doesn't see them as much as disabilities and doesn't accept them as, like, if you say, oh, I've got ADHD, <laughs> we have the same thing, retard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's okay to joke about our issues because, you know. I don't care. Doesn't bother me. Joking about something is just that. It's a joke. It's not meant for harm. So if you joke about something and you're offended by it... Like, that, that's another thing. Cancel culture is fucking stupid. Because comedians are getting cancelled for making jokes. Things that are supposed to be funny. And that are meant... To get a giggle, they're not literally word by word actually realistic. Um, but they get cancelled for it because people are too sensitive nowadays. Look, you get annoyed seeing people be like, oh, my ADHD is kicking in and shit like that, but I'm not about to go cry on social media over it. I mean,. I just think if anyone goes and says deliberately, just out of the blue, like, oh, my ADHD's kicking in, they're attention seeking, end of discussion. Someone with genuine ADHD doesn't want to make attention about their attention disorder. Like, if someone asks, why are you acting strange, then I'll say, it's probably my ADHD. But no one with ADHD will go, oh, my ADHD's playing up, and then start, like, Fucking bouncing around. That's just attention seeking. Like you 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 can believe that, you can disagree with it, whatever. But as someone who has ADHD and has been around multiple people with ADHD, ADHD people don't make a big fuss about the fact they have ADHD. So I've accused someone of racism as a joke. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, and uh, apparently now, ADHD... Uh, sorry, ADD doesn't exist anymore. It's now um, attentive ADHD and something ADHD. So ADD is just ADHD without the hype. Yeah, so attentive ADHD and hyperactive ADHD. Well, isn't... That makes no sense. In case of mech, I wouldn't even tell if he has ADHD or not. To be fair, with how short the attention span of a lot of the younger generation is, just because they've been hardwired with social media and shit like that, TikTok, ADD itself is very difficult to diagnose, but there are some things that someone with ADD will not do that a normal person can't do so short attention span just isn't enough 
to say you've got ADHD or ADD anymore. Because pretty much all the younger generation has ADD then, if we were using that criteria. But ADD people do forget a lot of shit. ADHD people are hyperactive and forget a lot of shit. And it's that kind of stuff that... Um... It's like an official diagnosis now for ADHD because it just ADD really is it's a very fine line now um, because a lot of people's attention span is fucking stupid needing to do something urgently and my brain is just dust yeah exactly that's ADHD though that's the H part where your brain will go blank you can't focus on something but because you need to do something at the same time that's the hyperactive thing. Get them tested for ADHD. I, I, I'm adamant that one of my little sisters has ADHD. Um, my mum won't get them tested. But I am, I'm adamant that my sister has ADHD. Um, because she shows signs. Like, there's obviously nothing wrong with having ADHD. Because it's actually good if you get tested because you can get the support that you need to help you. Um, but, like, there's a couple of quirks that I've spotted of hers that she does that was very similar to what I did when I was a lot younger. Um, I, I'm 95% sure she's got ADHD. But... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But, I mean, scientists literally have to just rely on hormones now because so many people just lie and think, oh yeah, I've got ADHD in this. I got this, I got that. I remember I got into an argument with someone. Um, they proper kicked off at me and was like, um... Yeah, they proper kicked off at me. And I can't remember the full story. But I, I was pissing myself laughing because she completely contradicted herself. She's one of these um, gender fluid whatnots. Um, so again, it's like... Mm, someone who has... You know... Already strange. Um, basically just had a go at me um and I had said that I got like ADHD and all this like chill out can't fucking remember shit and then she was like don't make excuses don't blame it I've got ADHD and I don't blame it uh, the funny thing is we found out that she self diagnoses herself of like four or five different mental illnesses and it's just the funniest thing, and it's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Honestly, I don't know what gen I'm classed as. I think I'm the one just before Gen Z, but I'm not 100% sure. What gen are we? O2. Whoa. Uh, yes, it does make you Gen Z, you know, I believe. Fuck off. I'm not a boomer. <laughs> Asshole. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.